Hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by to watch another episode here at Investing with All I See is W, where we talk about finance, personal health, and self-development. Well, today I wanted to make this video just to share with you my insights on the overall stock market. Today was a pretty bad beating with just most stocks in the Dow Jones and the S&P. I mean, when you look at the energy sector, to electric vehicles, to Bitcoin, to the biotech sector, most companies took a hit today so it's not like one specific company that got hit overall now I wanted to pivot over to just talking about stock news updates I will share with you multiple biotech tickers that I feel can add value to you and before I begin I'd like to inform you that the information I'll be sharing with you should be used as guidance information only and anytime when you do make an investment decision please do your own research okay that's very important here now let's get started first off i wanted to share with you is just the, the future likely outcome of how the market will be performing so as you can see it's right at the borderline of like zero percent so we can't really tell whether it's going to be an up or down market for tomorrow now the first ticker i wanted to share with you is sorrento therapeutics no What's surprising is that the company had gained in its share price today, so that's just amazing news. And what we know is that Sorrento Therapeutics has received a license from CLIA to perform sample clinical testing, and that's just great news for its saliva test, one of its seven product that's related to the COVID-19. So can you imagine with the additional six products that they're working on, as well as having clinical trials going on in the United States as well as in Brazil for example so from a share price perspective I do feel like Sorrento Therapeutics can hover up to the double digit share price range and let's take a look at the price analyst targets so as you can see the average would be $25 and the high would be set to 30 so that's alone for Sorrento Therapeutics now let me pivot over to the next ticker and this is Vaxart by the ticker VXRT. Now, what I like about this company is the fact that it was able to like bull run all the way up from its low of like 350. Now it's gained like 100% proceeds. Of course, today we saw a downturn, but from a performance outlook, I do feel like from a short, middle, and long-term perspective, this company will grow and we shall hear news on the phase one clinical trial results and I do forecast that we shall hear positive news that it was safe and effective so far for the patients that were taking the oral vaccine medication that Vaxart has in place and one of the good things is that you know let's say if and when it does get approved this oral vaccine medication then it would be a low cost when this gets scaled for distribution because you don't have to like freeze it since it's a tablet form so that's one of the benefits of Vaxart as well and it's part of the operational warp speed at least getting support for the preclinical trials now from uh, analyst price target perspective as you can see the average is set to like $17 while the current share price is 7 so that just tells you that it's undervalued at this time for what Vaxart can provide for for just the globe now next up I wanted to share with you is iBio and what's been happening with iBio is we continue to see a downward trend with iBio right I mean we, we got the news about ATB Therapeutics working with iBio where iBio would be a contract manufacturer but as you can see the share price begins to just continue going down however I feel like me as a, an investor of iBio I'm not going to be selling off my shares because I feel like if and when I do that that's when things will like turn in reverse and I don't want to be caught in that situation so that's why I'm just parking my money here because I do believe in the technology that iBio has for example it's fast farm patented technology I feel like most companies are beginning to understand what fast farm technology can do and the benefits that it provides and the ease of use as well as being able to tap into different 
biologic pathways to demonstrate clinical benefits and I feel like this is an area for future innovation and iBio also has two developing COVID-19 related vaccines and we know that the plan for the company is to release an investigation on new drug submission within this month time frame so I'm excited to hear which vaccine candidate it will be and I'll be fully supporting this company as well because for me I'm going to be fearless with iBio and I will continue to hold as a long investor so next step I wanted to share with you is Inovio Pharmaceuticals now the current share price is $11.43 and I feel like that, that it's currently undervalued at this time and one of the great news is that the VGX data for dysplasia prevention and mitigation well the phase two clinical trials today demonstrated positive results for precancerous dysplasia and this is positive because that means that that vaccine candidate for INO will move forward likely into the phase three a different vaccine part of the family where VGX also has a phase three candidate in clinical trials at this time so what's most important though is getting the INO 4800 approved for use and that will be having to complete the phase two and phase three clinical trials but according to Joseph Kim we can potentially get EUA by Q1 of 2021 depending on the urgency and the data that's going to be coming out from phase two clinical trials as well as coupling that with international clinical trials data in South Korea in China so all of this can come into play and I'm very excited and I feel like the share price can begin to triple up in value and we know that we're in the the hot months for biotech at this time so I'm holding on tight with Inovial Pharmaceuticals as well next up I wanted to share with you is VBI vaccines and one of the great things that just happened was that VBIV has added a new arsenal to the business strategy and that's pairing up with Cineos Health to be able to scale up its prophylactic hepatitis B vaccine, the Hep Side B, that's already in commercial use in Israel while the company is trying to scale up marketing authorization in Europe as well as submitting biologics license application to the Food and Drug Administration. So all this is coming together and I feel like there can be a bull run with VBIV and as you can see here the prior resistance was at six dollars and I feel like the coffee cup and handle can form potentially V shape all the way up to the double digit share price range. And according to price analyst targets the average is at a 825 with the potential high of eleven dollars so there you see it that can be like a threefold increase. Next up I want to pivot over to is BioCris Pharmaceuticals by the ticker BCRX. So as you can see we're looking at a six month trend chart here and it's it's gain in value where it's now hovering at the low seven dollars and why is it gaining so much on a bull run? Well the fact that it has a similar related drug product that works more effectively than the failed drug like Remdesivir this is why BCRX is gaining so much value at this time there's an increased demand for antiviral treatments and that's why BCRX is gaining value at this time and as you can see the average from nine analysts it's setting at ten dollars at this time with the potential of sixteen dollar gain and I feel like BioCris can definitely gain up to the eleven dollars very soon so Let's not ignore what this company can do as well as a long-term hold. This company can grow in maturity with future value growth to its share price. Now next up, the last ticker I wanted to share with you is Out Immune by the ticker ALT. Now I feel like this company is not only a, sh a good short-term hold but a very good long-term hold type of company ticker. And as you can see here with the average price target, it's set at $45 with the potential of $80 and with the six month trend chart the prior resistance was hovering at $33 I feel like the two-fold increase will likely come back very soon for out immune with respect to time because it has an intranasal candidate vaccine 
that they're working on and that can provide immunity to your body with that mode of delivery. So overall, these are the tickers I wanted to share with you as well as me providing insights on the current day of the stock market today. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe for more related content. And I'd also love to hear your questions and feedback on this video. And please make sure to leave the comments below. All right. Thank you all and have a wonderful night. Goodbye.